welcome to another amazing video recipe. We have guest blender babe Peggy Kay with us today, and she's gonna show us how to make a frappuccino with an added protein boost. Yes, and we are using my favorite protein, and it's actually not just protein, it's an all-in-one nutritional shake, and that's Vega. So our Vega all-in-one, it is my favorite -est. I've been using it for years, so if you're looking for an addition to your smoothie, this is what you need. It's not just protein, it is high in protein, and all plant-based protein, so it has 15 grams of your protein, plant-based protein, but it also has things like your greens, your antioxidants, really high in fiber, it has your vitamins, minerals, it has maca in there, which balances hormone levels, so it actually replaces 10 different supplements all in one. So if you need an addition to your smoothie every morning, just like one little companion, mm -hmm. add this. Yeah, that's all you need. And but it you can really just mix flavors. it with uh, juice and water or yeah. milk or milk substitute. Yeah, you can just, just shake it it's up. It's not just for vegans and vegetarians. No, it's not. It's a lot not. of meat eaters use this it's, one too. It's just, it's very clean. It's one of the cleanest products you will find on the marketplace and it's delicious. Yeah, it tastes good. That's yes. the number one reason yeah. why I started using it. And you know? I do it because, I mean, it tastes delicious, but it's also very, very healthy for right. you. So it's kind of like your health. I always say it's like your safety health insurance plan. So if you want to make sure you get all your nutrients in mm -hmm. one, that's all you need. All in one. Yeah. That's probably why it's called Mega One. That's why it's called Mega One. All in one. <laughs> so what we're going to do with it today is we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do a frappuccino. Mm -hmm. So if you want to change up your smoothies in the morning um, and you like your coffee, this is a way to combine the two. Yes. So what we're starting is with some unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. So you can use an unsweetened almond milk. I like adding the vanilla flavors mm -hmm. to the unsweetened just mm -hmm. because it gives, it gives an additional level of flavor. Mm -hmm. But because we're not adding any sugar, we're also gonna add a little bit of vanilla, just a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. We're adding some frozen bananas to this. So when your bananas get really, really ripe, I always kind of just peel them yeah. and then freeze them we because freeze them, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> it's like adding a scoop of ice cream. And then we're adding some almond butter to this as well. So this is great for, almonds are for stress busting, it's a healthy fat, good for your heart. So adding that Do you that make inside. your own almond butter or do you buy it? Sometimes, no, I typically buy it. Yeah. Just because it's a little easier, easier to buy. But a, a quick way is, I mean, just throwing, because if you use a blender, you, you can actually throw in, in a right. handful of almonds, blend it up, and you don't even need to buy almond it's butter. It's all going in the same place. <laughs> exactly. So we're adding some cinnamon to help balance blood sugar levels as well. And we're gonna add our scoop of our Bega One in chocolate flavor. Mm. And I love the chocolate with the frappuccino yeah. just because it marries very, very it's well like together. It's like a healthy frappuccino. Yeah, but what you can do as well is if you have the vanilla one, the, um, the vanilla, if you have the vanilla Bega One, which I always have at home, the French mm -hmm. vanilla is my favorite, you can add, use that one and use the chocolate coconut milk instead to get that chocolate vanilla flavor. What if you just added a little bit of like raw cacao? You can do that as well. Perfect. Lots you can of do subs, that as well. Lots of, lots of subs. subs. <laughs> and then we have some ice. We're gonna add and of course, we have some, coffee. and then we have some coffee. Mm -hmm. so, so you, you can, can add, use, sorry. No, we can have, um, this is like an Americano, so it's a shot of espresso with some water. You can just use a cup of coffee. You can just throw away in a cup of, a uh, couple shots of espresso, whatever Can you do you like want. instant coffee granules or you flavor? You can, okay. you can add instant coffee granules to that as well. Um, you just need about, it'll be a little bit more bitter, so you just want, you know, a teaspoon of that. So we're just gonna start this up, blend it up. This is sweaty button. Too much. It doesn't so need you too can much. definitely make this with a regular blender, which is great. Yes. Yes. So you want to just get a cup here. Yeah. Fill that up. Oh, yummy! This is perfect for breakfast. It is perfect for breakfast. It's perfect for even a meal, like in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah, if you absolutely. Wanted. If you need a little pick me up. Little boost. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so good. It's, it's one of my favorites. I <laughs> know. All right, be sure to check out more great recipes at blenderbabes.com. Kitchen Cures, this yeah. is it. Buy it. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Thank you, Peggy Kay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.